Deepcool ATX 3.0 is here and it's kind of interesting the way that they've set this up. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tour. Tech. If you're new here, I'm Risa, the four-piece Ryan Dual Key Triple XL. We've got the PX1200G. It's a full modular HX 3.0 capable device and it's quite beefy and large and typically deep cool uh, where they're showing off with some exceptionally large capacitors which actually store enough power to uh, run them a system for I think 16 milliseconds even if it was to turn off so at full load which is kind of nuts so it's got a ton of good clean power provision which is exactly what you want to run components at their absolute best it however only has an ATX 3.0 to 3.0 those ATX plugs cannot be used in 8-pin configurations on the older ATX 2.0 so I kind of don't like that in a way but it has been set up for perhaps even for farming usage for those of you, you running GPU farms, this should catch your attention, especially if you're using newer 40 series GPUs. Anyway, let's get into what's in the box. So obviously you have the package over here and it's showing off its nice 80 plus gold and that cybernetics platinum qualification, which it's got over there. And then the ATX 3.0 certification. Inside the package, you're gonna obviously find the power supply. Then you will have some manuals over there and then a pack full of cables. And inside that pack full of cables, you're going to find a myriad of connections, up to six SATAs. There are some Molexes over here as well. You're gonna have three or four of those actually coming off of the one cable. You're going to have three of the eight or slash six pin PCI Express connectors, two eight pins for the power supply as well, and then that ATX 3.0. And amongst that ATX 3.0, like I said, I noticed that they put in something really cool. This little connector over here, it's a 24 pin connector, but it's just got a little loop back so you can jumpstart the power supply without needing to connect it to a motherboard. So that's why I say it lends itself a little bit to GPU farm kind of setups, especially with it's all 12 volt, 100 amps is available on the 12 volt, that's 1,200 watts if you're doing the quick math. So it can output its entire stack out of the 12 volt, which is, I think, was the idea behind this in certain terms, because that ATX plug can't do eight or six pin, as I've alluded to earlier. So it's kind of interesting in the way that they've done the setup and the connections on the power supply as well. I love that that ATX is in blue over there. If you look at the fan, it's 135 millimeter, and then you can see two really big capacitors through there. Those suckers can hold the power up for a 0.1 millisecond by itself. So even if the power dropped, it would still provide for 100 milliseconds uh, worth of power or 0.1 seconds is what it's quoted at. So that's pretty impressive. It can hold itself up for 0.1 second, just like that. It's kind of cool. So you know you're getting really good clean power provided by this power supply, which we'll get to a little bit later in the performance specifications. But overall, I've just got to say the chassis and the build of this power supply looks absolutely fantastic. And I love the tiny little deep cool on the bottom left of there, just to let you know what brand it is without it being mm, too shouty about its 1200 watts worth of power provision. And that's where we're going to move over to testing it. I've got a 3070 Ti, which pulls about 320 watts. And then I've got a 1360 k set to 200 watts plus motherboard and the nvme and ram etc all being stressed it's going to pull about 600 watts so we were hunting for a little bit of coil one uh, or the full actually capacity of an atx 3.0 is then 600 watts so it's pulling about half of the total power supply and it didn't even turn the fan on i didn't even put it in the hybrid mode and the fan has been off the entire time there's absolutely no coil one from the sucker as well letting me know that the internal components are up to scratch. And interestingly, it's very hot today. And when I did the stress test on Time Spa, it came back with a 99.5, which is pretty much the best score I've gotten with this GPU and with this test bench today. So it's telling me that the power provision is definitely not part of the problem, and nor really is heat because of the Supreme X cooler that we found on our 3070 TR. It is a Fat boy, it's 1.8 kilograms worth of graphics card. It all blows my mind every time. But anyway, back to this power supply. What would I like to see change? I generally, I love the package. I love that you get a couple of Velcro straps with it as well, that they are branded deep cool. In general, I'm very happy with it. This should be a three pin connector, if we're being honest. Um, that's about the only thing I'd change over there. But I would also like to have one of these ATX 3.0s come out into two eight pins so that I could use it for its other intended purpose, which is clearly to be a farming type power supply for GPU farms. And then I would be able to use 
all of that ATX 3.0 into another graphics card and then if they are older editions or something or not a 40 series then i would be able to power it off of that so it's kind of weird it's sitting in between but it's not quite and then you'd have to get an adapter off of this anyway so just give me that cable i like these non-braided cables these days where they just nicely rubberized because they are easier to make uh, harder turns with them so they've got it in that part right and like i say the general look and feel and design is great the performance really does kind of speak for itself so there's not a lot that deep cool would i would say need to change and coming in at 4300 rand with a 10 year warranty does set it as a very competitive psu especially for the extreme ends so if you've got a 4090 you're looking for a power supply that's got an atx 3.0 and then some more to still give on the after that if you've got other connecting devices and stuff then look no further the deep cool px is probably for you Anywho, that is all I have for you on this PSU. If you have enjoyed this review, please do this up with a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the flip side.